In this video, I'm going to demo how to export media and prepare it to be published from After Effects. Using the example from the Rotobrush demo, I'm now ready to export my video. To export your video, you're going to want to use your composition that you created. Now, if you need to, remember, you can actually right click and you can check composition settings. If there's any last minute things you need to do, such as changing your duration down, maybe you didn't take up the entire minute or 30 seconds that you were working with. Do you need to change the width or height? All of those things can be done in, in this area. Now to publish though, if you come under the file drop-down menu, there is an option to export. Now you have a couple of options here. If you have Premiere Pro, already installed on your computer simultaneously, you could actually take this back into Premiere Pro if you like. However, for us, if we just want to work within After Effects, I'm going to add it to the render queue in After Effects. The render queue is an additional panel that will open next to your composition down in your main timeline area. Down here you can see that it has the composition name, your render output, and your render settings. Really for what we're working with, you can come in as far as the quality. If you're looking to try to preview a publication, you might not want to use best. Draft or wireframe work excellent for this. You do lose a lot of detail, but again, that's the idea of the draft or the wireframe. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. And then I'm also going to come down. You can actually preview all of your output options. You can even come down under the output mode. You see how I have lossless. That's fine. But the area that you need to worry about most of is under the output module. There's a section called output two, and right now it says not yet specified. So I'm going to go ahead and choose not yet specified. And here you can see it's going into my folder, my project folder. It's keeping the same name as the composition and it's going to output as an AVI. An AVI is going to be fine for this. If you're on a Mac, this might be an MOV, which is also fine as well. Now when I say save, Notice now how under output module and output two, you see how now it's changed to the name of the exported file. At this point, I'm ready to render. So I'm going to go all the way to the right hand side here and there's a render button. If I go ahead and click render, you can now see it working through the rendering process. Especially with After Effects, you really want to pay attention to the fact that it will probably take a while to render, depending on what you're working with. If you're working with roto brushes, effects, or adjustment layers. Also, the fact that you might also be tying an animation can make the rendering process much, much longer. Once your file is rendered, you can now navigate out to where you were working on your project. And there you can now see my roto brush demo that if I double click, my video is now ready to go.